Here we go then, lunch and listen, 17. Another morning, a bit more overcast today. So into week three of lunges, so up in that number of lunges by about 10 or 20 to uh, progress what we've been doing. So what we're talking about today, talking about change, a lot of what talk about with lunge and listen, daily focus, other things when um, live or talking to somebody about fitness and the goals and changes they want to make often revolves around change of some sort and uh, yeah, that can be the change in routine, the change in lifestyle, change in nutrition, uh, change in training from maybe what you've been doing before, adding elements, taking elements away, all those kind of practical things and then also the change in thinking, changing mindset, adding knowledge, you know, all those changes as well. And uh, that all adds up towards a personal side of uh, working on your goals and changing your life and your health and your fitness for the better. Now, another aspect which I've not really touched on before is the change your changes and how they affect those around you. Now, hopefully, you have everybody else on board and the people around you are supportive rather than counterproductive or actually not helpful with your, with your goals. And some of that is going to come down to communication and some of that is going to come down to how you fit it in to your life. And one thing I'm kind of kind of big on is making sure it does fit well into your life and kind of the overall impact on time and uh, the people around you is is minimal there's only positive from it but sometimes we have to go a little bit further in terms of maybe explaining or with some of the people around you that kind of liked where you were before. Not in the sense of holding you back so much, but there might have been certain things that you did uh, prior to moving forward or as part of your journey that they kind of like. Maybe it's those big weekend nights out. Maybe it is the uh, drive through trips to McDonald's when it's open. You know, when you kind of buy half the menu, you know, uh, maybe it's a big takeaway nights and things like that. You know, things that are perfectly fine, perfectly cool, and you know, built friendships and relationships are, are kind of built around those sorts of things. But sometimes we need to kind of reframe those. And then once again, like a lot of things, a lot of change, when it involves other people around you, communication is the key but also at the same time having the tools and knowledge to realize you don't have to kind of ditch everything in that area most aspects just do them differently and hopefully over time working with me that people realize it's not that everything is a complete wholesale change I'm not eating out of plastic tubs and we're drinking water and black coffee and those sorts of things that it's all about actual balance and as I was talking about yesterday those experiences those times with friends sharing a Chinese you know going on a trip therefore you have to just stop at McDonald's one so it's just on the way to Scarborough springs to mind on the A road about 20 minutes out of Scarborough um, you know those things are way more important really than having a perfect nutrition perfect food every single day so communicate take people along for the ride they might not want to be part of it but you don't want to leave them behind in the sense of you don't want to be giving up relationships just for the sake of looking better feeling better having better fitness they're all very very good things very very worthwhile things but take 
your friends, your family, the important people along for the ride with you.